Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Monday Sit Rep. We're going old school style for this one because, well, we don't have a huge rundown and you had some free time yep. on your hands and so why not? Um, we are pre-recording this ahead of coming back from California. As you can tell, we're both still very, very pale and still pale. Midwest. It's not like one day is going to change. Well, maybe that's it's probably true. It's a good point. Show up in the sun. Whatever. <laughs> get burned. But uh, one of the reasons I wanted to have Landon on here too is I know we've restocked this uh, Saturday matinee playset a couple of times, um, and I've talked about it, but I don't think we've actually Whoa. had you on here since this has been done because it was a pre-order when we yeah. initially talked about it. So, like, these figures are awesome and some of people's favorites from 2020, 2022, 2021. What year so is far, that? yeah, right. Where are we? <laughs> um, and so, I wanted to talk through those a little bit uh, and just take a look, a little closer look at them in detail. All of these in front of me are pre orders. So, Saturday Matinee Playset, uh, the, the classic Tiger Tank, uh, and then the F 16 are all on pre order right now. Please note that this F 16 is sporting Brick Designers custom printing. So if you're looking at this and you buy an F-16 and then you're like, wait a minute, mine doesn't look like the one on the sit rep. That's because you're, you're one step away. You've still got to get the printed tile pack from, uh, from brick designers. But otherwise, all of the bricks are printed elements, stickers, loadouts, all that kind of stuff also included with that build. And then obviously Tiger Tanks are Tiger Tanks, right? Yep. 3D printed muzzle brake, updated minifig. Interior space for a spacious interior. Your own your own engine, whatever you want to do. Yeah. So we powered through those. Now let's dive into these. Sure. Which one is your favorite figure? Uh, I kind of like the the crate. I didn't make that. That was slime. okay. There we go. His favorite thing about the kit is the thing he didn't make. It's a cool crate. It looks incredible. Yeah, you're not. It's a cool crate. Um, Said religious artifact that was captured by the Nazis in 1930. Very well documented historical event. Very you well can literally documented. watch it because there happened to be the a camera. film crew. Yeah, it's like the way it worked out, real win for history buffs. So there's this dude, he was uh, from Illinois, Jones. <laughs> um, Illinois Jones. <laughs> yeah, so he, all right, uh, keep going. So this is an official Lego head, which is cool. It's, you know, we're yeah. using some throwback Lego kit stuff and uh really just taking this minifigure up to the the next level the one the that kind of level the one that came with the with uh, uh the lego official set um it was a cool figure for its time um and like the legs are are the legs were like super infamous for like having a, like a pistol and mm -hmm. belt and you saw them on like, every single custom like military figure at that time and uh I just figured I'd kind of play off that a little bit and keep some of the, the layout similar, but yeah. bring it up to a, a more modern um, art standard. Uh, kind of a more wrinkled, distressed shirt. Lego, again, that, that original figure was one of my favorites, and it, it still holds up, I think. Uh, this is just nice that we have access to a bit more. Um, like we can do the 360 printing, which at the time they weren't really doing. Um, so this is kind of like how they would have made it had they maybe had access to more fancy equipment like we do. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. sure. Why so, not? Or they're just not innovative. Or just enough, they're not innovative. Maybe I'm just cynical. Well, they they also made like a billion of these things. That's, so that's true. props on that on their part for being able to. <laughs> um, just some standard soldiers in some Hollywood bad guy uniforms. Yeah, that's a great it's, way to put it <laughs> because they, they are. There's not much accuracy. Yeah, wise and historical. And you know, the, the, it's in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. you, know, you recognized it. Um, so is this a guy the double face dude? Sorry, I'm running around here. Well, there's. I was oh, he's say, in there. Which is weird. I don't know why the GHQ has that guy in the wrong vehicle. Because I mean, is it the wrong vehicle? I thought he was in the. No, because this, this is the one that goes over the edge. Oh right. Right. That's yep, the one yep. that gets. You're right. Gets historically accurate. So in, bumped off the in history, cliff. This guy flew off the edge, and that's the face that he makes. Mm -hmm. ah! so I, it, 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 it's funny. The camera cuts to him right, he's, and it's just the classic like arms over his mm -hmm. face, like. If you would have just kept driving and turned the wheel instead of putting your arms over your no, face, you gotta have time to panic. You could have like you gotta panic, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's the iconic look right there, and it's um, you know, it kind of completes the uh, the whole whole thing. And then obviously, Slam did a great job with all this. The printing on here is so crazy. It's so ridiculous. When they were it's talking like about everything. dirt, I was like, well, what's that gonna look like? What does that even really mean? And then when I saw the layout sheet, I was like. Oh my goodness, you guys, yeah. you've lost it. This is nuts. You've lost. What but are you man, doing? it looks really, really cool when it's all done. The printers hate him. <laughs> That's true. Actually. That's kind of his job, though. Yeah. You know, keep pushing it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
And this is going to be gone like that, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's been around a couple of times okay. now, so hopefully some people are getting getting their collection satisfied. But yeah, I'm assuming that it'll still go really, really quick because it's definitely a, a very popular sure. set. So and it's so mock ready. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just it's everything you everything. need in the playset. You didn't like have to add your own parts or any of that kind of stuff, or hunt down extra figures and whatnot. So yep. that's that's a pretty cool addition to it. And like you said, the crate really does tie it yeah. all together. There's no face melting piece though. Right. You don't have that. You need like a blowtorch or something. Well, part two maybe in the future. You never you <laughs> never know take what that a holds. Blowtorch to a standard figure. And <laughs> I yeah. don't think it'd melt in layers quite like the documentary. The documentary. The documentary, yes. That's what happens. Historically accurate <clears throat> film. Documentary. But there you have it. The uh, the Saturday matinee playset back in action along with the Tiger and the F-16 now on BrickMania.com. We also have a couple of extra perfect calibers, etc. So make sure to check that email or just head over to the recent reloads tabs for a full list of everything now back on BrickMania.com. Otherwise, that'll do it for a Monday sit rep. Thank you very much for watching.